Everybody, please rise as a senior ensemble plays our national anthem. Thank you to that group of seniors. You may please be seated. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Farmington Central Junior High School's eighth grade promotion of the 2025 graduating class. My name is Henry Easley, and we are here to celebrate our academic and extracurricular achievements. Within our class, we have seen accomplishments like a champion cheerleading team, record-breaking cross-country teams, school events hosted by leaders in our class, and countless others. I'd also like to take a moment to thank our parents and family members for your encouragement and support. Your support helped make these achievements possible. As we celebrate tonight, we look forward to the experiences that will come in high school and look forward to creating new memories and growing into the individuals we are meant to be. We are grateful to be celebrating with you here tonight. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Josie Wabel, and this past year, I've had the honor of serving as the 2020-2021 Student Council President. Our narrative starts nine years ago, in August of 2012, when we first started kindergarten. Eager to learn basic math and the alphabet, we walked into the seemingly giant school for the very first time. All throughout elementary school, we developed friendships that will last a lifetime learned things that we'll need to know for the rest of our school years, and had teachers that made big impacts on our lives. Then, somebody snapped their fingers and we were in the fifth grade getting ready to advance into junior high. Walking into sixth grade for the very first time, I remember how excited I was to finally be in the junior high. Excited for new friends, teachers, classes, and extracurricular activities. In the sixth grade, we participated in the night at the, mu the museum, went to positive incentive field trips, such as the Chief and Riverman Games, and learned how to start to be independent academically. In seventh grade, we started to join school sports and had a big Pi Day party. Then, the world shut down. I remember thinking, score, two weeks out of school does not sound too, does not sound too bad to me. And then it was two more, and two more, and two more after that. I quickly realized that e-learning was not the move for me, and my parents and teachers can attest to that. And then the school year was lost. 
We spent hours upon hours stuck in our houses, trying to figure out Zoom, spending hours on TikTok, becoming bakers, but trying to get, trying our best to get by each day, we somehow got through the harsh lockdown. During the summer, we started to see our friends and got the news that we'd had the option to go back to school. It was not going to be normal. We'd have to wear masks, use the hallways in a new system, and not switch classes with new people. Honestly, at first it wasn't fun, trying to get used to all the new rules, regulations, and requirements. But through many trials and tribulations, we persisted. That's a common theme with this group of individuals. We persist. If there's a fork in our road, we'll persist. If there's a hardship, you guessed it, we persist. This fall, we'll begin our high school experience. There will be hardships and forks in our roads, but just like we always do, we'll persist. I hope to make the most out of my high school experience, and I'm hoping you all will too. I'd like to conclude with a couple of thank yous. To my parents, Emily and Joe, for supporting me in my many endeavors in junior high. To the administration for doing what's best for their students. And a big thank you goes out to the eighth grade teacher team. Mrs. Belletto, thank you for pushing us to be become seasoned adults and improving our work ethics. Mrs. Vallis, thank you for being lenient and kind. Mrs. Evans, thank you for being our biggest cheerleader and ally for us. Miss Young, we'll miss you. Thank you for being so much fun to be around. You made me look forward to math class, which is something I've actually never done before. To my student council advisors and some of my all-time favorite teachers, Ms. Clayton, thank you for keeping me in check and letting us be ourselves. And Mrs. Leto, thank you for believing in me since day one. I've learned so many valuable life lessons from you. Last but most certainly not least, thank you to my classmates for making school 10 times more fun and interesting. In four years, we'll all be here again getting ready to start our upper educations, start our jobs, or become adults in general. I'm excited for the future of this group of, of people and look forward to seeing you all at the beginning of the school year. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to acknowledge our honor roll students. The following students maintained a 3.0 to a 3.49 grade point average for the 2021 school year. Students, when your name is announced, please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been announced. Abby Akers, Isabella Archdale, Landon Currington, Caroline Fell, Claire Hanlon, Olivia Harlos, Maylee Huffman, Colton Laremore, Caleb Lindsay, Wesley Meister, Ashley Miller, Owen Morse, Kylie Nichols, Tristan Passmore, Ella Peppel, Griffin Ulm, and Logan Utt. It's now time to acknowledge our high honor students. These students maintained a 3.50 to a 3.99 GPA in all their academic classes for the 2021 school year. Again, students remain standing until all names have been called and audience, please hold your applause until the names have been announced. Kayla Abel, Sterling Anderson, Amber Asbury, Daisy Becker, Emilia Carpenter, Landon Cruzen, Mason Dameron, Madison Dennison, Jacob Evans, Arabella Garner, Avery Gilstrap, Nicole Hayes, Drew Hinkhouse, Maddox Huffman, Rosemary Irvin, Elena Kiefer, Isabel Lynn, Bram Parkinson, Calvin Rudd, Max Rutz, Josie Wabel, Lane Wheelwright, and Molly Zabarak. It is now time to acknowledge the 15 eighth grade students who earned a 4.0 GPA for the 2021 school year. One final time, students, when your name is announced, please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Jordan Atchley, Jade Bragg, Megan Carpenter, Henry Easley, Jarrett Fowler, Jacob Gillis, Jillian Lancer, Jake Martin, Ben Marvel, Lydia Overcash, Cole Passmore, Lillian Reagan, Kendall Shake, Paige Stevens, and Lily Swanson. Goodness. 
It is now my honor to award two of our eighth grade students with the Jeff Yaste Award. Coach Yaste was a teacher in the Farmington District who taught for more than 30 years and also coached several sports that the school offers. This award goes to two athletes, one male and one female, who show sportsmanship, respectfulness, and helpfulness. Coaches nominate and vote for the award winners. This year, the winners of the Jeff Yaste Award are Jake Martin and Lydia Overcash. Jake Martin couldn't be here tonight, so Jake, if you're watching at home, we'll make sure you get your award soon. The next award to be presented this evening is the Most Improved Student Award. In order to be eligible, students in the eighth grade must have shown substantial improvement in their academic record by raising their grade point average from grading period to grading period. Students must also have shown excellent progress in their social behavior, including fewer disciplinary infractions, a display of school pride, and general overall attitude. This year, we have selected two winners of the Most Improved Student Award. They are Noah Wise and Claire Hanlon. Noah couldn't be with us tonight, so Noah, if you're watching at home, we'll make sure you get your award soon. I would now like to introduce Dwight Helley and Randy Isbell to pre uh, present this year's American Legion Award winners. Thank you very much and glad to see everybody here. Tonight, me and my associate and commander of the Legion in Farmington, Dwight Helling. I'm commander of Legion in Hannah City, post 212, post 140. It's an honor to be here and present the American Legion School Award Medal to a graduating boy and girl. American Legion is an organization dedicated to the service of God and country. We believe that one of the best ways to perform this service is to take an active interest in pre preparation of our youth so they will become patriotic, freedom-preserving citizens. It is in this interest the American Legion School Awards plan was born and maintained by the national level through Americanism Commission of the American Legion. The official American Legion School Award Medal is presented by the Post to a vast number of boys and girls in the graduating classes of public and private schools. Recipients are best represented outstanding qualities of character and ability and the award is based on courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service, which is all cultivated, this is the result of better citizenship. Now I'm going to turn the mic over to Dwight so he can present the award to a girl. Thank you, Randy. This year's girl recipient has always tried to do the right thing, even if others around her don't. She's a great student scholastically and works hard, always doing her best. She is a quiet but consistent leader in the classroom and outside of it. She sets a great example for her peers and challenges herself to do better. 
She is a caring young lady that is always willing to help others. She is an active member in the Harvest Team, participating in many service projects, and she volunteered, volunteered to lead many. This year's recipient is Lily Swanson. Will you please come forward? Now we'll present the boys' ward. This year's boy shows to be his own person. He's kind to everyone. He's always doing the right things. He's an excellent student who leads by example and who always tried to do his best. He is soft-spoken most of the time, but is not afraid to speak up when he sees something's wrong. He, conscious, he constantly shows leadership, service, honor through his daily action. He always sets a good example for his peers and has never been a follower. He is always helpful, caring, and kind young man that, yo that shows a lot of compassion towards the classmates and teachers. He often goes above and beyond the others without the exception of anything in return. As a student, he excludes beyond his years with his classmates and his schoolwork. I'm proud to present the American Legion Award to Calvin Rudd. Before we move forward, I would like to thank Dr. Chatterton, the Board of Education, the staff, the students, and all of the communities that make up this district. This has been a difficult year, but we made it and pulled through. I want to take just a quick second and honor Mrs. Christy Rood, who is retiring this year with over 30 years of service to our district. Thank you, Mrs. Rood, for all the advice you've given me and taking care of these students like they were your own. Congratulations. And now I have the high honor to present this year's junior high promotion certificates. At this time, I would like to ask Mrs. Amy Stevens, Farmington Central Junior High School head teacher, to come forward to read the students' names. And for superintendent of schools, Dr. Zach Chatterton and school board member Dustin Blunier to join us for the presentation of certificates. Parents and family members and friends, our students have worked very hard over the years and deserve to hear their name called this evening. We ask that you please hold your applause and cheers until all of the students' names have been called. Kayla Jean Abel. Abby Sue Joan Akers. Jocelyn Ann Marie Altum. Sterling Elizabeth Anderson.
Adrian Josephus Andrews. Isabella Joanne Archdale. Amber Jordana Asbury. Jordan Alex Ashley. Daisy K. Becker. Zachary John Benton. Ashlyn Jade Ann Bragg. Aiden Robert Cagle. Emilia Carly June Carpenter. Megan Elizabeth Carpenter. Jacob Alexander Cecil. Kennedy Sawyer Cheney. Ronald Lewis Crum III. Landon Matthew Cruzen. Landon Robert Currington. Mason Nicholas Dameron. Madison Joan Dennison. Henry Ezra Easley. Emily Lucille Eddington. Rocky James Eldridge. Jacob David Evans. Jarrett Matthew Fowser. Caroline Fell, Faith Marie Foster, Dion Nicholas Fraunhofer, Delaney Marie Fusselman Wilson, Arabella Sophie Garner. Cameron Joseph Gibbs. Jacob Jeffrey Gillis. Avery Nicole Gilstrap. Claire Elizabeth Hanlon. Olivia May Harlos. Nicole Madison Hayes. Drew Edwin Hankhaus. Maddox Brian Huffman. Maylee Monica Huffman. Rosemary Eileen Irvin.
Kaylee Jo Kiefhofer. Elena Marie Kiefer. Abigail Marie Kirk. Carter Thomas Lamon. Jillian Avery Lancer. Colton Terry Allen Larimore. Carly Sue Laufenberg. Anna Lila Leonard. Marina Lola Leonard. Caleb Jean Lindsay. Isabel Ann Lynn. Bernard Keith Malat Beanie. John Curtis Martin. Benjamin David Marvel. Trevor Raymond McVeigh. Wesley Michael Meister. Ashley Reagan Miller. Owen Douglas Morris. Caden Alec Mowen. Cash Wyatt Dale Musselman. Matthew Wayne Myers. Kylie Jo Nichols. Lydia Rose Overcash. Bram Solon Giles Parkinson. Cole Stephen Passmore. Tristan Michael Passmore. Kelsey Marie Patterson. Bradley Mitchell Payne. Ella Christine Peppel. Austin Michael Perdue. Joseph David Peters. Keegan Ray Peterson. Spencer Thomas Powell. Alyssa Renee Prince. Aiden J. Puckett. Darlene Marie Rapp. Lillian Joelle Reagan.
Emma Rose Rockhold. Devin Michael Rose. Calvin Christopher Rudd. John Maxwell Rutz. Kendall Riley Shake. Zachary Matthew Simpson. Marcus Jeremy Snyder. Haley Jolene Stanger. Paige Honey Tao Stevens. Lily Anna Swanson. Rebecca Jane Turner. Griffin Ray Alm. Logan Michael Utt. Gage Lee Waddle. Slater Kane Warren. Yep. Josephine Elizabeth Wable. Lane Christopher Wheelwright. Noah Allen Wise. Molly Catherine Zabarak. Students, please stand. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the eighth grade class of 2021 and future Farmington Central High School class of 2025. Congratulations. As we conclude today's celebration, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank those that have helped me and my classmates. Together, we have reached this chapter in our lives. Thank you to our parents and guardians, teachers, staff members, and friends. To my classmates, congratulations. This hasn't been an easy year, but we've all pushed through. You have all worked hard and deserve to be proud. So let's take this opportunity to celebrate. I look forward to the times ahead. So let's keep fighting, farmers. Thank you all and have a good evening. Mrs. Herring, will you please play the recessional?